What did you say? What did somebody say? That's right, man. Me too. Good. That was somebody's favorite song in the world. <laughs> well, here's one of my favorite songs in the world because uh, in the world today we uh, I got here in sort of a daze, and the first thing I did was like eat a huge handful of bear sausage. Only at the spit would you show up and there'd be this gourmet wild bear that was killed not too far from here. This is an old song about, about bears and about the Yeti or potentially Bigfoot. Uh, questionable what this song's actually about, but it's one of my favorite songs of all time. It's really, really fun. So if you feel like dancing, you better come up to the stage right now. Well, Mr. Smith, will you kick this one off for me, please, sir? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready for a song about bears?
y'all's help on this one. Uh, go to A. Well, let's we'll stay here. We'll stay here. What are we doing? We'll do. Whatever. Hey, we're going to need y'all's help on this one. Is that cool? All right, so this was an uh, old tune that's been reinvented by a lot of bands. And when we play good, energetic crowds like this, we like to get them involved. And it's one that... Uh, Anyone who's a fan of the Yonder Mountain String Band, maybe they've seen them play, seen them do this song. Anyways, repeat after me, everybody. When I say, I'll see you in the morning if I live, you scream as loud as you can, if I live. So, well, I'll see you in the morning if I live. Good. And I'll see you in the morning if I don't get killed. Yeah. And if I never know or see you again, oh, won't you please, dear Lord, remember me. Remember me. It's that easy. Y'all ready? Come on, let me hear it, let me hear it. Well, a rich gal, she rides in an automobile. And a poor gal, she does it quite the same. Oh, oh. But my guy got a room pop seat in the back of the sheriff's car and she 
gets around just the same. Well, I'll see you in the morning if I live. Well, I'll see you in the morning if I don't get killed. And if I never know, I'll see you again. Oh, won't you please, dear Lord, remember me? Yes, he does. And a poor gal, she does it quite the same. But my gosh, she gets wasted off that old Thunderbird wine. And I get my loving just the same. Well, I'll see you in the morning if I live. Well, I'll see you in the morning if I don't get dead. And if I never know, I'll see you again. Oh, won't you please, dear Lord, remember me? She kiss you, she kiss you oh so sweet And a poor gal, she does it quite the same But my gosh, she gets on you and she snackles on your lips And I love it, I love it just the same Well, I'll see you in the morning if I live Well, I'll see you in the morning if I don't get killed And if I never know, I'll see you again oh, Won't you please, dear Lord, remember me Let's hear a little banjo soon
traveling through the dark behind a storm. Overblown. And they made it to the coast. Thank you. All right, thank y'all so much. That's an old tune we have on a CD if you want one. And we're gonna play one that's on a CD that is not out yet. So this is a brand new song. I grew up on the coast. Man. Sorry. <laughs> but, uh, this is a tune that, uh, this is a tune that I wrote about beach erosion. I grew up on the beach, so uh, this is something that I kind of wrote. I've seen a lot of the beach disappear where I grew up, so this is kind of a tune about that. There's an old tune written about it about a big storm that hit the coast of Texas back in 1900. So this is sort of an updated version of that song. <laughs> Good enough. Y'all ready? One, two, one, two.
Thank you. Greener grass. All right, folks, y'all having fun or what? Y'all having fun? Here's another new one on here. much folks we're gonna write we're gonna play a tune now of Billy's that was written and inspired by this very part of the country this very mountain this very mountain this is a tune by Billy Bright to my right called Penitentiary Mountain everybody Thank you. 
Bright, Billy Bright, Billy Bright. Here we go. That's beyond cheating. Oh. Okay. I'm going to keep it to Jesse. We run out fast and we'll start with you. Well, we're going to do another John Hartford song. So if you're a John Hartford fan like Mike Abb is, you'll like this one. Sure. 
mighty fine, thank you. Short life of trouble. Here's one for you, Jesse Dalton. <laughs> Come up and sing it if you want to. <laughs> Something sounded weird there.
Thanks everybody, we got just a few more for y'all. Y'all still y'all still good out there? Good, good. It's gonna be a long night of party and music, so pace yourselves. Well, we had our buddy Mike Ab request a song that we're going to do before we do our last tune. Remember in Cleveland, you got to go in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, just want to take a moment and thank the family again for having us out for the third year in a row. Uh, the first time we showed up, it was just me and Dominic, uh, and Wooden Wire was just a baby fetus of a band. And then... Uh, we played up at the house, which was really cool, really, really nice and homey. And yeah, every time, uh, every time we come here, it feels like we're playing for our family. It really does. Just I got to do one thing since Eagle Eye is not here. Just one thing I want to say. I don't want to be alone. Eagle Eye Williamson. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a tune that was, uh, this is a tune that was recorded by Ralph Stanley and played live by Ralph Stanley and was sung, sung when Keith Whitley was the lead singer of his band. This one's for Eagle Eye. And uh, this one also goes out to the great Keith Whitley, one of my heroes.
our last song so y'all come up and dance okay I ran away for the first time and I was only four years old I'm free born Place is home, I'm a freeborn man.
Fisher on the bass, everybody. Keep going. Thank you so much. Yeah. Let's keep on rocking. One more, we can handle that, eh? Hey. Thank you.
Not every night we get an encore, huh? All right, guys, thank you, thank you. We'll, uh, we'll do a song off our upcoming record. And if you don't follow us on Facebook, please do, because we've got a record coming out in February. We'd love you to know about it and uh, get a hold of it if you'd like to. Uh, we were in the studio a couple months ago working on some all-new original music. We're in the studio right now working on some old music. We're doing a record of traditional tunes. It'll be coming out a little bit. And, uh, yeah, thanks, y'all. Uh, we'll, we'll put that record out in the next couple months and our studio record in February. So please do keep in touch with us. We'd like to do you one off that upcoming record. This is one that's uh, more of a personal nature. Tony here uh, wrote a tune for his grandparents. Uh, his grandfather wooed his grandmother when uh, he was a lad of 27 and she was a lass of 17. And uh, they had a wonderful relationship uh, their whole life and had a great family, a lot of great kids, great ki grandkids, including Tony Camel. So we'll do this one for... Uh, for grandmother Anne Marie right now. Ready? One, yeah. two, one, two, Good night. We love you guys. See you next year, I hope. If not, we'll see you when we come to Arkansas.